Airborne transmission of COVID-19 is not simply possible. There is consistent, strong evidence that this is the dominant method by which it spreads, according to a new review article published in the Lancet Medical Journal. The authors of the review suggest that an overemphasis on spread through large respiratory droplets at close range could mean public health policies have been misdirected. In scientific briefings made available on its website, the WHO defines aerosols as being less than 5 micrometers in diameter and respiratory droplets as being greater than 5 micrometers in diameter. However, The Lancet states that droplets with diameters of up to 100 micrometers may be able to spread the virus through the air. Foremost among its justifications for this claim is the role of superspreader events in spreading COVID-19. These events, whereby a large number of people in the same area are infected with the virus, cannot be explained by close-range respiratory droplets or fomites, the review says. Further evidence in the same direction comes from observations of transmission between people in adjacent rooms in quarantine hotels, but never in each other's presence. This is not the first time the WHO's emphasis on short-range respiratory droplet and fomite transmission has been questioned. In February, science journal Nature suggested that investing in costly disinfection efforts could have meant underinvesting in more effective ventilation systems.